Hey YouTube, it's Leah. Today is Sunday, February 1st, 2015. And today is, or actually tonight, is Super Bowl Sunday. And I am coming at you after halftime. And I'm shooting this video sort of something more as a therapy session to myself. And I may never even post it, but um, I did a video a couple weeks ago where I talked about how I have a hard time dealing with attention, um, particularly the attention that um, I get from males. And tonight I have never been more thankful to have to leave an event um, early as I was. Um, as many of you know, I have a six-year-old, so um, she came to a Super Bowl party with us and um, we took separate cars so that I could leave early at halftime to um, come home and put her to bed. And normally, <laughs> Um, I would have been really bummed by that because I hate leaving things early and I get caught up and get a good buzz going and want to stay with the action. But I got to say that tonight I was very thankful that um, that I had a reason to leave early. Um, we went to a Super Bowl party and the party consisted of my boyfriend's friends and these folks have known me for for four and a half years now so they've known me at 260 pounds and the way i would describe these folks is um they're very shiny people they're very judgmental. They're very all about how you look, how you dress. And um, while I'm not saying that's not important to me, it is. I just, I don't judge people like that. I don't care what kind of clothes you wear. I don't care if your jeans are designer. Um, I don't care what kind of car you drive. Um, it's just not me. I like people for who they are. So having said that, um, I used to, being that I already have low self-esteem, being around these folks a couple years ago when I was 260 pounds was really difficult because I knew that they were judging me based on my exterior. And they really never gave me the time of day. <laughs> and so tonight, tonight it was just really hard to have these same people, especially the guys who, they didn't give a fuck about me at 260 pounds. I'm the same person, I'm exactly the same person um, inside, pretty much. I, I mean, um, but <sighs> how do I say this and just not come across as a lot of people would think, what's the big deal? But again, because I did a video about this a couple weeks ago and the attention, it, it is, it's just really hard to get this attention from these same people who didn't give a shit about me a couple years ago. And like I said, it's typically the men. Um, and you know, tell me how beautiful I am. I mean, one of the guys who was hosting the party tells me right in front of David, you know, that she's way too beautiful for you. And he told me that a couple of times tonight. And even as I was leaving and thanking him, he was like, I just want to tell you how beautiful you are. And you really are way too beautiful for David. And that doesn't make me feel good. 
at all. <laughs> um, and it just, it does, it hurts because I want so bad for people to just like people for who they are instead of how they look. And I know that that's totally unrealistic and that I am probably totally babbling on, but tonight was just hard. And I just wonder if anyone else has experienced, um, experienced any of this because I don't really hear anybody else talk about it. So I feel kind of isolated and I just want to know what I can be doing other than therapy to get my head screwed on straight to to learn to accept what these people are saying and not think that they have an ulterior motive. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of doing this video off the fly as I'm coming home from the Super Bowl party and I might not even post it. I don't know, but maybe someone else out there understands what I'm going through and they can kind of give me some tips or some pointers because, I mean, it is. It's, it's discouraging. And, you know, I had an incident with um, this group of people um, this summer. One of the guys, now granted, he was totally wasted, but, and he was at the party tonight, but he came up to me this summer and he was like, oh my gosh, he's like, you are way hotter than David's old girlfriend. She was so fat. <laughs> oh my God, you have no idea. I was ready to like rip this guy a new asshole. Thank goodness one of my best friends was standing next to me and she like grabbed and squeezed my arm. And I was like, really? I was like, oh, who was that? He's like, oh, I don't know. He's like, but he's like something about like he, I don't know, went up, up one or up the notch or something with me. And I was like, you know what? And I flat out said that. I was like, you know what? You're an asshole. I was like, um, that was me. I've been his girlfriend. I'm like, I'm just not fat anymore. But thank you. The look on this guy's face was priceless. And later on that night, he did try and come up and apologize to me. And I was like, dude, <laughs> it's okay. You know, you need to like go to church or something and pray for forgiveness because he ain't getting it from me. And so I saw him tonight and even he's like all, hey, hey. And maybe it's just, I don't like fake people. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Maybe somebody else out there gets it. All right. If not, um, I guess I got to go turn the Super Bowl on and see who's winning. All right. Take care. Check. Bye.